Hi, everyone. I'm Elaine Quijano. It's good to be with you. Thank you for joining us. President Biden is standing firmly behind his decision to withdraw U.S. forces from Afghanistan. In his address to the nation on Monday, the president said he does not regret the move. However, he did admit the country's fall to the Taliban unfolded more quickly than had been anticipated. Over the weekend, the Taliban took control of Afghanistan after seizing the nation's capital of Kabul. Chaos ensued shortly after. Droves of Afghans flooded the airport. Some died after trying to cling to a U.S. military plane before takeoff. Meantime, the future of Afghan women remains uncertain. Women's rights, 20 years in the making, could now be shattered with the Taliban in power. CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi begins our coverage from Kabul.